Got some real time action for you. Giant. See what we can find. It's got three big parts to it. And this is just one section. Piece of aluminum. Not sure why this guy's following me. What's that? What's up? Uh, I need somebody to. He was looking for someone to help him move out or move some boxes or load something up or something. But I'm busy making this video and we don't have a whole lot of light left so I want to make sure I find you some good stuff and there should be plenty of people running around here they can slip them five or ten bucks to help him out I actually picked up these cans before I started the video they're in there rattling around making noise so we'll get rid of them for you As you can see, I've got the pooch with me today. Hi, baby. Say hi to everybody. Ouch. See the computer in there? This cord led me to a PC, which is good. It's a nice little score right off the bat, right there. No RAM, it's got the motherboard and a disk drive. A little, uh, a little bit of heat sink in there, it's gonna be nice. Little CPU. I'll sell though for decent money. This actually got some decent weight to it. If you're new to my videos, that's mainly a piece of plastic. It's got some kind of little electric motor in there. And where I take it to, they let me throw it in on my tin shred.
and I normally don't take very many of these cans and this is the reason why because it takes way too long to get the nasty stuff out of there it's just way too time way too uh, time consuming to do that constantly it's got some shoes in it right there what do you think oh what are they hey those are not bad those are not too bad um suit you know what those are definitely curb worthy yeah These things will get snatched up off the curb in a hurry. People might not buy used shoes, but when they're free, <laughs> they're suddenly super desirable. Well, filling up a little too quick. actually give me more storage so it's good to find that really Let's see it's a pretty slick little deal I might get rid of these shoes here in a minute I'll kick around in my head what I want to do with them for sure they look like they're just a little too big for me I'll check them out later Two wheelers are hard to see everybody so always look for them <laughs> that guy I didn't see that guy at all Something I don't say enough in my videos, I suppose. This dumpster diving can be dangerous if you let it be, if you don't protect yourself. But it's nowhere near as dangerous as driving one of these things on the street with cars. <laughs> be very, very careful if you're out there riding a two-wheeler 
on streets with machines like that. That's one of those. Uh, this bottle, I mean, it's kind of dirty, but I think that bottle is like worth, uh, sells for like 20 bucks new. It's double walled stainless. It's actually a very high quality item. Uh, it's not marked, it's got some dents, so it's not really sellable, I suppose, but that's an excellent product right there. If you if you Google those kind of bottles, those double walled stainless drinking bottles like that, they're like $20 and up. <laughs> no joke. That double wall stainless stuff is really nice because it, uh, your drinks won't sweat and stuff. Like in the summertime, you know how drinks, glasses, they sweat and they get all wet and stuff. Those things will not do that. That's really nice. Well, we're just getting a whole host of extra stories now, what do you think? said earlier with those shoes that people will not buy used shoes but when they're free they're real desirable I kind of misspoke there people definitely will buy used shoes <laughs> I said that wrong just in that uh, condition those are just a little bit too used for people to go out and spend ten dollars on sipping Plus, you know, the sale price. If I were to test them on eBay. I don't get hardly anything for those keyboards. Uh, e waste is like a penny a pound right now, so. There's some like silver plate or whatever you want to call it and then keyboards. But I just don't have time to mess around with that stuff. Big chunk. We did that big chunk. 
get one big chunk left over here at this complex. Laptop sitting in there. It's a nice juicy little score. Actually looks like it's pretty clean too. Or nice condition. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, it's all busted up. Not sure what that is. Or why that is. It's kind of weird. Not sure what that was. It's kind of sticker. Uh, yeah, it's busted up good. Windows Vista. Uh, Pavilion DV 5000. I'll see if I can sell that on eBay. Maybe it'll go in a lot with some other laptops that I sell for parts. Or not working. Legend of Granger. <laughs> Granger is a big seller of like tools or like a warehouse company that gets you any kind of tool and products, working products and stuff. trying to hide in there. So I bought a new one through it all right out. These things, I don't know why they get thrown away so often. If they're just so cheap that they just fall apart or what. But <laughs> Something little probably goes wrong with it and they just go buy a new one because they're so cheap at Walmart, you know. They're, in my experience, they're basically just disposable products, kind of like microwaves. Of course, I live in Walmart galore. This is literally where Walmart was founded, uh, 10 miles up the road. So there's tons of Walmart products around here. That's why I was surprised on YouTube when I saw that people would sell parts of microwaves and parts of those vacuums online. I just... <laughs> It was kind of amazing because from what I've seen around here, they're just treated like disposable products, you know.
got a fairly lucrative little load going here for the amount of time we've been out. Not too bad, not too bad. vacuum cords here are gonna be by today's prices about 50 cents a pop give or take depending on their weight of course no sense in wrestling with knots when you can just cut them <laughs> people watching are very familiar with scrap so I try not to explain too much like I did in the old days but I just know that there's gonna be new people out there watching who would throw away that car right there just an old piece of junk it's totally trash and worthless that's aluminum breakage and it's worth uh, about 14 cents by today's low prices just by itself It's actually a good amount of money, I mean, considering it's just a piece of garbage, you know. Oh, look what we got here, check this out, oh my goodness, a heavy little dude. That's a uh, little amp of some sorts, that's heavy, <laughs> usually when stuff gets heavy that means it's good quality, uh, in a broad definition anyway. I don't know. Uh, it actually looks like it's pretty solid. It's got some damage. Some kind of little docking port there. Uh, I have to take it though. At worst, it's going to be a nice piece of scrap metal. Let's take that home. Have a look at it. I don't test stuff out a whole lot. But uh, for new people that might be watching, I do, I'm, I have to keep ex explaining some stuff, you know. Because little pieces of insignificant junk like this add up. And most people out there, or a lot of people anyways, when they think of making money recycling, scrapping, they're just thinking about these cans and bottles. <laughs> And that's just a little itty bitty, almost an insignificant drop in the bucket of what is really worth money out there. And this stuff is just getting thrown away by the truckloads. <laughs> yeah, see the little cord on there? That's just plastic. What's up, man? Excuse me. Alright, so this is going to take some reorganizing. I'll be right back to show you what I've done here. A little double decker action. I'm actually probably going to run by my storage unit and drop this off. Come out here and give you more of a video. This is a Saturday and it's shaping up starting out to look like a really nice session so Let's see what I can find for you
There's actually looks like a busted up jack sitting here. Let's see what this is exactly. Yeah, it is. It's an old floor jack. Uh, shoot, I don't know if that's for the taking or not. It looks like somebody was working on it. Uh, I'd like to take that. I'm heading back to the storage unit right now. So I would like to take that. But it's kind of far away from the garbage. You know, if someone had their truck here and was working on stuff, they might have just left it sitting there. Uh, I better not touch it. It's hard to determine sometimes if something's abandoned or not, you know. That could be someone on a balcony right now taking a break, staring at me, waiting for me to <laughs> take their stuff or something. Who knows? I'm not gonna find out the hard way. Okay, I'm gonna go to my storage unit and come back and then we're gonna go up the street that way. Went to the storage unit and dropped everything off. Actually, I need to ditch those shoes. Back here at another location. So, this isn't, I guess, uh, true real time. Especially, I had to go to my storage unit, but real time is just kind of the, the motto of these. I do edit some stuff out. Some travel time here and there. Real time basically just stands for what you see me doing right now, you know? This is another one of those dumpsters that had the jig messed up when they welded it. See that lip right there? <laughs> That's supposed to be down there. So if you crack your elbow or something on that, it's going to really hurt. Uh, those are not bad. As far as curb status goes. Nice little spot right here to ditch these shoes. <laughs> Those actually would probably fit me. <laughs> these are close to sellable. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, probably not. I mean, they're actually pretty nice, but there's just fine details on there. You can tell they've been worn pretty good. That's a nice looking shoe though. For free, I mean. I bet those don't last until eh, sunset, an hour or two, I suppose, and they're gone. Okay, we're gonna go down here, take it right, and then there's another street of apartments over there. Watch the kitty cat. <laughs> What do you think about that? Oh, that's exciting stuff, huh? Oops. Where you going, Sneaky? That's a kitty cat. Come on, get on the scooter. <clears throat> Come on, Goon Ball. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, I know, it's fun. Come on. There you go, good dog. Well, I buzzed through a couple small apartment complexes, or smaller apartment complexes down there. Came up empty. That's just how it goes sometimes. 
The sun's about to go down. So I'm gonna see if I can do a little more scoring before I end the video. These two dumpsters here, well, the one on the left can be pretty good sometimes. It actually looks like it had a, uh, I don't know, I was gonna say fire, but I don't know, the paint's wearing off there for some reason. Well, I guess there's a little something in there. It looks like there was a fire in there. I don't know. I don't know, someone just painted the lid and it's coming off. I don't know, it's weird looking. Anyways. That's a nice chunky little dude there. That's extra thick. Oh, that's why. That's an auric. That's a good vacuum cleaner. This is not a Walmart special here. Oh, there's just so much stuff packed on it. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Oy, well, this part of it. Oh, well. The base part of it has a decent little electric motor in it if you wanted that and they have these nice aluminum handles as well and I'll go for scrap the whole thing look this is a vacuum where the whole thing actually you can take to the scrap yard as opposed to those other plastic Walmart specials Let's see if oh, there's a fishing net in there too. Look at that. There we go. Now I got you. Oh. There it is. That was actually plastic on the bottom of it. In there, there's a nice electric motor, aluminum poles and whatnot. So it's always good scrap metal. What's the story with this dude? steering wheel action. It's all plastic. A little fishing net will go for aluminum. I'll uh, get that net off of there before I cast it in at the scrap yard. Don't got much time left. Before the sun goes down, so this is that RP fishing lower factory. I made a video here once. I just scored box after box after box of fishing lures. I don't know if they've completely moved out of here yet or not. But I've been looking in this dumpster from time to time. Uh, it looked like it just got dumped Friday. They may have finally moved out, completely moved out. It may be a ghost building at this point. But I have been seeing remnants of uh, them still manufacturing lures here ever since that video. I think they've slowly just been piece by piece moving their operation somewhere else. All right, with the last light of the day, I've made my way over here to Ken's auction house. There's an auction going on in there right now. This dumpster sometimes will just, well, almost always is packed full of stuff. Sometimes with good stuff. What is this right here? Look at it. It's just sitting right on top. Little, uh, some sort of little sauce. 
That's cool. I'm just going to have to take that straight to my kitchen. <laughs> like a little sugar and whatnot deal. That's just wonderful. What do you think about that? Just sitting there. Right on top, ready to go. <laughs> That's not a bad little chair. Let's see what I'm doing here. This is kind of neat little plates. I like the plates like that, or it's not just like all one replicating pattern or whatever you want to call it you know it's just got a neat look to it don't you think what do you guys think oh it's just got that one simple little detailed thingy i think it's japanese maybe i don't know it's that kind of style anyway that's weird looking Chunky old lamp. Oh, I think that's gonna be pieces of brass and cast aluminum all over this thing. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh yeah, that's a nice little piece of scrap metal. And see, this is an old one. See how it's just got a piece of steel in the bottom, and that's a weird piece of steel too. Look at that thing. I don't think that's broken. I think it was just made like that for the cord to go there. It's just the, the press or the mold that that steel came out of. And that's going to be aluminum. Oh, shoot, that might be best. I don't have my magnet with me. I can't tell for sure. <laughs> I must say it's got brass and aluminum. And the bottom part is tin with a steel chunk in there. That whole bottom piece might be tin. It's hard to tell on without a magnet. I've been meaning to put another magnet on my scooter. A few videos back I put my magnet down on the floorboards thinking it might stick to one of the screws that are down in there. I got a bunch of comments asking if I forgot about it and if I lost it and yeah I did <laughs> these cardboard boxes make it tough I think there's just a bunch of rubbish in there though of all rubbish like boxes and this newspapers all over and that's too much to dig through <laughs> these cardboard boxes make it tough when they're flattened out like this and just stacked in here it's just Basically, we'd have to take it all out of here. I'm not gonna do that right now, especially. Hope you enjoyed riding along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, 
Thanks for watching. I bet I know where to find another magnet. Or two, or three. Okay, that is going to be a piece of brass with a steel reinforced tube in it. That is also, I thought that was going to be cast aluminum, but that is definitely a brass, so that's going to be a nice piece. The bottom, big piece, is tin. This piece all the way up to here is brass. It'll unscrew. Nice piece of steel in there. Uh, and these, see how hard it is to tell? A lot of times those will be brass, but that is just a tin shred, a tin steel deal. This whole piece up here is tin. I thought it was going to be brass. And then, uh, so actually, there's no aluminum whatsoever except for that little piece right there is going to be aluminum. Everything on here is brass and steel, tin. Uh, I say steel, tin, and tin steel, and tin shred. <laughs> different places call them different things, you know. Like where I live, this chunk here is the only thing that's going to qualify for steel. This reinforcement bar in there will go with tin. And all this up here will just go with tin. Some places don't even call it tin, they call it shred. Because they'll throw it in their shredding machine. Anyways. Okay, now thanks for watching.